Hello, I'm Karen Algisma, and we are going to give you all the tips to have the hottest, coolest, trendiest things in your beach bag. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, James Green profiles Seanigan Lake School. And Paul Ballstein helps the Sydney Fire Department celebrate 100 years of service. All that and much more on Go Island. Hello and welcome to Go Island in the middle of a hot, sexy summer here on Vancouver Island. We're all, I know, asking the same question. What do I put in my beach bag? <laughs> We're here with Jody Byron's at Le Chateau at Mayfair Mall. And Jody, we are going to share with all of our viewers everything we need to know what to put in our beach bag, how to take that uh, beach sort of uh, outfit the summer party and everything in between. Let's begin with the hottest trends for summer uh, when it comes to what is in the bag. <laughs> Well, first of all, I chose this beach bag because I think it's absolutely like chic. It fun. is. Right? And it's sque I, I want to squeeze it. It's got that gel feel to it. I love it. And with all the little motifs and fabric details, like these roomy carryalls are great for on and off the sand. So you can take this from to the beach and then you can take it to dinner with you after. Absolutely. So let's pull out the... What's in the bag? Okay. It should be a game show. Okay. Okay. So first little fun trend this summer are these flat espadrilles. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. How cute are these? So if you don't have time to get a petty, which I mean, a lot of us are busy and don't really have the time, these are a really nice alternative to flip-flops. They're cute and stylish. The cotton twill detailing with the white faux leather. Lovely. White faux leather with the little black cap. I just love these. Oh, this one's fun. So this is a floral, bright, colorful floral infinity scarf. Nice. So um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I can't wear scarves in the summer. But if you get nice, like, lightweight fabric with a really fun, colorful print, you definitely can. It's a really, really great thing to, like, kind of pop on at the end of the day with your outfit. If you're going somewhere for dinner, you just want to look more polished. So if you're just wearing a white little tank top, it just adds a pop of color to your outfit. Mirrored, colorful lens sunglasses are probably one of the biggest trends this summer. <laughs> <laughs> and you always rock sunglasses so well. You, and you know why I love you know why I love these, Jody? Okay, put them on. I'll tell you why I love these. Because when your spouse is wearing them, you can go, wait, wait, let me check my hair. <laughs> so this is a really great little skirt from here. So this is just a nice cotton jersey. And it kind of folds over like this. So this is a great piece to throw in your beach bag because sometimes you just don't have time to change after you've been at the beach all day and you need to go for dinner or go to a party. So this is a really great piece to have because you could use this as a beach cover up for your bathing suit. And at the end of the day, just throw it on over what you're wearing and make it a cute little maxi dress. Cute! And just wear it with a cute pair of flats. Oh, this is my what favorite. What else is in the beach bag? <gasps> Jelly shoes. Jelly shoes! I remember these from when I was a kid. Oh my gosh. When I saw these, like, I just felt guilt <laughs> giddy inside. Like, yes. These take me back to, well, childhood. Childhood. Yes. Yeah. So, interesting story about jelly shoes. They were introduced at the World's Fair in 1982. Um, at the World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee, and a buyer from Bloomingdale's kind of spotted the potential of this trend, bought 2,400 pairs in nine different styles, cataloged them, and put them on the main floor in Bloomingdale's, and they sold out right away. So after that, the trend took off, and they replaced the styles every six months, trying to be like ahead of the game to avoid designer knockoffs. But uh, one designer that really, really adopted this trend was um, Jean Paul Gaultier of everyone. So like, oh my jelly gosh. shoes have a really interesting story. They have the little starfish details, they're a little beachy. You can wear those with a maxi dress or you can wear them to the beach. They, if they get dirty, just wash them off. We have a beautiful model, yes. Olivia Keene, my favorite uh, fitness instructor oh. extraordinaire ever, oh. who's going to come out in just a moment. But yes. first, uh, speaking of summer, one of my favorite places to hang out in the summer is Seanigan Lake. Uh, but it's not just a place to water ski and sunbathe. It's also home of, their, of a very prestigious school. And James Green sat down with them to find out not only the history of this school, but the future. School is out, even Seanigan Lake School, and summer is here. And if you want to rock summer, you have to have the right 
outfit, the right accessories. You have to know how to be playful because if you look good and you feel good, you have more fun. Jody, uh, we've got a beautiful model uh, who's going to rock some some summer staples for us. Exactly. Yeah. Tell us what Olivia Keen is wearing. Come on out, Olivia. So Olivia Keen is wearing one of my favorite summer trends. Uh, she's punching up the pastel with white separates. Okay. So with the tote and the white shorts, we've made it a little playful with the little um, starfish necklace. Love she, that. She kept with the beach theme, but she can take this look from the beach to, she could go out after and hang out at a pool or whatever. Um, another thing to remember about yeah. your going to the beach is throw on a hat. So yes. we have this fun little, Cute. This little fedora. She, like, seriously, how cute know, is she in this? I know. So, I mean, you can be, like, stylish and protect yourself from the sun. Yes, yes. <laughs> right? And it's just a really, really cute hat. And I love layering tunics over swimsuits. I think it's just such a glamorous look. It reminds me of going to Vegas or something yes. like that, but it's still appropriate for the beach because it's really lightweight. It protects your shoulders from the sun. Which is good to go. I hate being matchy matchy, and when women match their white shoes to their white shorts, it's too much. It's, it's too much. It's competing with each other. So you want to do a nude shoe, and in Olivia's case, it just lengthens her leg and adds her adds so much height. Yeah. So yeah, and it's just not competing with the outfit. We have to take a very short break, but go nowhere when we come back. More tips on how to have all those staples to keep you looking beautiful and fresh and and fun all summer long. And we are also going to be heading to Sydney because the fire department is celebrating their 100th anniversary. Welcome back to Go Island. We're celebrating summer in a big way here at Le Chateau with Jody Byrons, who's giving us all the hottest tips on how you can have the right staples in your beach bag and in your wardrobe so that you can uh, look fresh and comfortable and sexy all summer long. Because I find that summer is a short season, so you don't necessarily want to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe, but you want to have a few staples you feel good in. It's true. Like, there is, especially here, there's such a short window to wear all these things, so you don't want to go crazy and spend too much money. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, finding the right pieces and key pieces to go with everything. So. Absolutely. So we're going to bring out Olivia Keen. <laughs> Come on out. Look at you, you sexy mama. I'm used to seeing Olivia in fitness wear 24-7, <laughs> so it's great to yeah. see you all glammed up, girl. I know, this is definitely, I was like, we're getting you out of this fitness stuff and <laughs> glamming you up. So uh, one of the trends I wanted to showcase today was maxi skirt. I usually talk about maxi dresses, right. but I love maxi skirt, floor length skirts. They're yes. so comfortable and uh, this is something she could wear to, like the skirt she could wear to the beach. Yes. Um, one of the, another, another big trend this year is like that kind of tribal print. Yeah. Most of the time, a lot of people are showing the prints like the matching shirt with the matching skirt. I wanted to break it up a little bit just because Olivia isn't as tall. So if you were wearing matching prints, you gotta be yeah. a little selective on how you style it. Yes. But in this case, she looks so long and tall here with this print, like it's just so strategically placed. And then we have it sitting higher at the waist and we've tucked in the top just to give her length in the leg. And then we've pulled that color out of the skirt in the form of a necklace. That. Like a big chunky, beachy looking necklace. There's okay. a lot of people who go to festivals yes. and all sorts of things in the summer. They're traveling on like planes back and forth to Vancouver, wh wherever you're going. A maxi skirt is a great thing to wear on the plane because you're gonna be comfortable in it's it. It's true. You still look stylish. You don't have to wear yoga pants on the plane. No. You can be comfortable and stylish while you're traveling. So when you get off, you just look refreshed. You look like a rock star, movie star. Especially with these shades. I know. Like if she walked <laughs> off the plane, I'd be like paparazzi in her oh, thinking she's yes. got to be famous. We are going to head out to Sydney by the sea where the fire department has been working hard to save lives and do so much work. But what's really amazing about their 100th anniversary to me is that this fire department is built with the love and the hands of volunteers. Paul Ballstein with that story. 
Congratulations to all the volunteers and community members who have supported the Sydney Fire Department for the last hundred years. I live on the peninsula. I'm so proud uh, to have the North Sandwich and Sydney Fire Department as part of my community. It just amazes me that people are willing to volunteer their time and really their lives to serve their community. Uh, I'm also always amazed at how short summer is in Victoria, but I want to look good as long as I can to rock all the summer trends. Uh, Jody, tell us what Olivia Keen, come on out, is wearing. Well, I put Olivia in this really beautiful black cotton jersey. Oh my gosh, it's dress. so adorable. So it's that maxi style dress, but it's a little bit of a different take with the high low hem. So oh, high okay. in the front, longer in the back. A lot of women, Olivia's height, feel like that they can't wear this trend, but it's actually the opposite. If you want to wear the longer skirt or dress, look for the high low hem because that is going to add length and height and make mm -hmm. you look leaner and taller. And the little cutout trend at the top of the neckline. Yes, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so Isn't that sexy. Beautiful. Yes. So you're showing a little bit of skin, but yes. it's not over the top. And look how glamorous she is in that she hat. Is so glamorous. I Again, mean. you're protecting yourself from the sun, but you look incredibly chic and stylish. Um, ombre woven hats are huge this year. So that's, it's nice. We have like multi-tones working and all these neutrals are just playing together. And then we have like a little tiny pop of color with the bracelet. We have to take a very short break, but go nowhere. When we come back, we're going to head out to Michosin to find out uh, what's happening out there and more summer hot fashion tips. Thank you, Olivia Keen, you beautiful woman. You just rocked every outfit. I want to thank you, Jody. As always, you inspire us to think outside the fashion box. And I want to thank you for watching. I'm heading off to France for a couple of weeks, but James Green, my talented and very handsome colleague, will be taking over for me. I will see you back here in August. Happy summer, everyone. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.